How to lower microalbumin. Albumin is only produced in the liver and remains in your blood as it's filtered through your kidneys. If there are excessive amounts of albumin found in your urine this could be an indicator of kidney damage and will increase your risk of conditions like diabetes, heart disease, or kidney disease. When you have excessive albumin in your blood, it's called microalbuminuria. A microalbumin result of 30 to 300 mg per deciliter is a red flag that your kidneys are not able to filter protein properly. However, with lifestyle changes and proper medical treatment, you can lower your microalbumin levels. Making lifestyle changes. Focus your diet on slow carb, low protein, and low sugar foods. Damaged kidneys cannot process proteins normally, so give your kidneys time to rest by reducing your protein intake. You should eat foods that compromise of slow carbohydrates where your glucose levels don't spike, low amounts of protein, fat, sodium and sugar. Here are some healthy options. Slow carbohydrate foods, porridge oats, beans, brown rice, pasta, lentils, carrots, sweet potatoes, and asparagus. Low protein food, bread and cereals, pasta, lettuce, celery, sprouts, cucumber, parsley, tofu, fish and lean meats. Low fat and low sodium foods, eat nothing fried, use olive oil if need be, and skip the salt. Avoid canned products such as soup, vegetable, and pasta sauces. Low sugar foods, eggs, kidney beans, tofu, walnuts, cottage cheese, olives, spinach, turnips, asparagus, barley. Also, avoid binge eating instead eat small frequent meals. These will help your kidney not to overwork and strain itself from filtering all the waste products. Also, avoid binge eating instead eat small frequent meals. These will help your kidney not to overwork and strain itself from filtering all the waste products. Avoid alcohol. Getting abnormal levels of microalbumin on your test results is indicative of poor kidney function. The affected kidney can no longer filter ethanol from the alcohol efficiently, which increases the risk of prolonged high microalbumin levels. To combat this, cut out the alcohol and replace it with water, teas, and unsweetened juices. A glass of red wine once in a while is your best bet if you need to blend in at your next soiree. Anything other than that should be avoided. Quit smoking. A gradual quitting of smoking is advised rather than immediately stopping it. You may have withdrawal symptoms the same as if you were avoiding alcohol if you go cold turkey. However, regardless of the struggle, it is best if you can control yourself in avoiding these two vices. Chronic smokers have a greater risk in developing high blood pressure. Smoking restricts your blood vessels, forcing your heart to pump harder, which stresses your kidneys. Nicotine from cigarettes can increase your blood pressure to 10 mm of mercury. If you smoke all throughout the day your blood pressure will remain constantly high. Lower your blood pressure. Having unmanaged high blood pressure can be a factor of why your albumin levels are high. Normal blood pressure ranges from below 120 mmHg to 130 Blood pressure that is equal to or more than 140 mmHg is considered to be high. In order to lower your blood pressure you'll want to limit or avoid foods high in fat, cholesterol, and sodium. If you consistently have high blood pressure, talk to your doctor about medication that can control it. Also, regularly exercising 3 to 4 times a week for about 30 minutes each time can greatly reduce your high blood pressure. It is important to maintain your ideal weight and avoid being overweight or obese. It is also good to come to your primary health care provider to have your blood pressure checked to make sure you're on the right track. Drink plenty of water. Drinking the recommended 8 to 12 glasses of water every day will help rule out some of the albumin in your urine. You should add more if you sweat a lot and exercise routinely. This will prevent dehydration. The more you're dehydrated, the more your albumin levels will rise. Fatty and salty foods not only contribute to high blood pressure, but absorb up the water in your system. It's best to avoid them for both reasons. Keep an eye on your blood glucose levels, too. It is important to cut down foods high in sugar from your diet to manage your glucose levels, avoid diabetes, obesity, and to keep an eye on your microalbumin. A normal fasting glucose level ranges from 70 to 100 mg per deciliter. If your fasting level measures 100 to 125 mg per deciliter, then you may have prediabetes. If you currently have diabetes, the albumin levels in your body will be elevated because unmanaged blood sugar damages your kidney function. 180 mg per deciliter is the average threshold of the kidneys for diabetics in the two hours after a meal. That is why if there are excessive amounts of albumin and glucose in your system, it will affect the function of the kidney and will further cause kidney damage. This will help you keep an eye on your weight, too. A healthy diet and exercise can aid you to lower your blood pressure and blood glucose, but lowering your blood pressure and glucose will have an effect on your weight, too.